Hey dear love, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, and welcome to your October Spiritual Guidance. This is your career focus. Watch out for the love focus and the health focus. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do about two and a half minutes of the Earth's energy, of the Spirit's energy, of the universe's energy. And then we're going to dive right into your personal star sign, moon sign, all of those signs energy all right so this is a month of sexual tension rechannel that to be productive and work for you all right you might just be needing to work on your own body get to learn yourself your hormones might be changing there's a lot of anger a lot of blow-ups waiting to happen so when you see people fidgeting get out of their way if you're the one that's fidgeting go rechannel that go work out go for a walk work with your hands and create something powerful and divine there's a lot of movement, a lot of a need to just function and to just be. So channel that into any kind of useful energy such as meditating, chanting, um, playing music, running, working out, playing with the kids, okay, playing a, a self game, whatever you need to do. But regenerate that, in, that energy. Um, there's a lot of anxious energy out there. Work on your goals. Uh, be determined to be successful. Become that business owner that you keep dreaming to be. The energy is there for you to succeed this month, but you've got to do the work. If you're trying to cut corners, it's not going to work. Power plays are out there. Don't be the one to get got, okay? You be the one to stay empowered in your authority, your personal authority, meaning self-develop. Be in charge of you. Make the changes you make within yourself. Don't try to force it on someone else, okay? The delays are real. Keep an eye on your keys. If the car is messing up, go get it checked out. Get second, third, seventh opinions. If you have to make a large purchase that you have not been researching, make sure that you bring someone you trust. Bring them in on the deal. Tell them the, what's going on. Trust them because they are your blessing in disguise and what they say is a message from the divine. Frustration is real. Disappointment is real. The shakeups are real. So watch your money. Reposition, refocus, re-strategize. Here you listen to this, okay? The peacemakers are causing waves. There's some that are lying. There's some that are real. You must use your intuition this month, okay? Get off the fence, make that choice to be successful, and you will be absolutely good. If you lie your way forward, you will fail, you will fall on your face. And spiritual superstars, you know that we don't ever want you to fail. We want you to be successful, and Divine Source truly does have your back. All right, let's get started. Hi, dear Libra. Let's take a beautiful deep breath in and raise our vibration. Deep, deep, deep. You're challenging your human now. Kissing your higher self. And release. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much for our dear Libras. Thank you so much. The battle is not won. The battle is not lost. The battle is not even yours to be playing. It's not yours to begin with, dear Libra. Um, honey, you have the new moon this month on the 16th. What I'm hearing is the battle mode that you're finding yourself in is because you're putting yourself in situations that don't belong to you. Spirit is not asking you to be the mediator in certain relationship drama. I feel like this. This is what I'm seeing, okay? You want everything to smooth over and to really be okay. But here's what I'm seeing you're doing. You're in the middle, okay? And you are doing this. You're going back and forth. And you're directing that, okay? You're directing this. However, 
What spirit wants you to do is just what you saw. Roll away, step away, and get out of the picture completely. And let these two handle it, okay? That way, you are not draining your energy because, honey, oh my goodness, I feel so sad. And I know that that's how you're feeling uh, when they're arguing, when the fussing is happening, when everything is just not peace. And so the beginning of this month, I really feel, Libra, this is a culmination, it's a release in your ability to just really be at peace within yourself and be okay with knowing you don't have to be the savior for all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And it's really that release in your in your uh, work environment as this is the career focus. But I want you to really look out for the love focus because I feel very strongly for you. It's going to really awaken some next steps that you've been praying for. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much. I feel like Spirit is telling you that by releasing your need to please is going to awaken that desire for you to be happy, but you'll see by mid-month when you have your new moon, I feel like you'll be stronger around the 16th to really awaken that self-love in you because I feel like the first two weeks are triggering that so that by the time the 16th rolls around, you're making these new steps, baby stepping. Some of you are just straight leaping. Some of you are, what's that called? Not hopscotch, but it's skipping. You're skipping into this new reality that you're forming. And then by the end of the month, you're able to really see where people have been trying to support you and give to you. And walk into November like this, open to receiving. Because it's scary. For you to just let that energy go and go and go and and be that person that walks away and just says, well, it's not my problem. It's none of my business. That's hard for you. But I feel like, dear Libra, in order for you to be sane right now, that's what you have to do. And Spirit wants to give to you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So allow the people that Spirit has assigned to you help you support you for a change instead of you trying to always support other people let go and let God this is your release this is your time to really let that side of yourself go and focus on your intuition because spirit is talking to you and you've come so long you've come such a far a long way over those mountains, jagged mountains, through the cold weather, through not letting people really see who you are and what you need, going over the, the icy lake, nothing on your feet, but you're in your element. But you don't have to do it alone. And so know that networking is definitely a plus for you in your career. But letting go of the people that aren't pulling their weight. No more do you have to be the lone wolf. You have a pack. You have a tribe waiting for you. And it's not the people that are surrounding you. Not all of them. It might be some of them, but it's not the ones that you keep giving your all to. It's like you're giving them your blood and it's not good enough. The time is now. Spirit has spoken, honey. And you already knew this was coming. You could feel this change coming for months. But it's happening now. 
And you know what? You're able to receive it. I want you to see this face. The dolphin's energy. You're ready to receive all the happiness that you deserve because what have you been doing? Smiling and singing to everybody. Just making them feel good. And now Spirit's saying, let me revive you. Let me breathe life into you. Let me give back to you. In your career, you might be working with animals. You might be in health and wellness, natural, plant-based solutions, natural remedies, healing energy, fitness, certainly in the beauty industry. But don't limit it. And if you are in any of those industries, which you really should be, make sure that you're using plant-based solutions, the shampoo, conditioner, makeup, all of it. Just make sure that you're checking with what their history is and just make sure that you know who you're working with, okay? Because Spirit wants you also to be reminded when the animal kingdom comes up, not only of the natural um safe um, products and solutions and remedies and tinctures but to be reminded that you deserve unconditional love and I heard that you need to see that there you go the animal kingdom brings us unconditional love so learn those lessons because in that moment of their connection with you while your kid while you're petting your cat for as long as they'll let you do it <laughs> you're receiving messages that way when you're feeding the birds they're singing to you because you deserve that you're not alone you don't have to keep walking alone spirit sees your pain and even though the people around you in your work environment your, your family that's not supporting you in your business, your friends that are kind of secretly jealous of you and your amazing business sense. You're not alone. There's always that candlestick of hope. And so be vulnerable in receiving your spiritual guidance. Remember, yes, you do get to do what you love the most. Listen to the wisdom of your heart. And you do not have to go back to what is arid and dry and unsupportive and feels uncomfortable and you feel forced into doing something for a living that you don't feel quite comfortable with. It goes against your values. It's not what you love to do. You're not making enough money doing it. You really have this secret passion inside of your heart to do something different. Spirit is telling you absolutely because you're faced that direction already, which is facing your future. And dear Libra, you've got the ability to do it. And Spirit is telling you, I'm expanding what you once knew. I'm expanding what you thought you needed to dream for, what you thought you needed to pray for. I'm expanding that. I'm making it buoyant, flexible for you. So, honey, don't let anybody tell you that vulnerability is a lie because it's the truth and you deserve it. So go on ahead and start taking the steps to release yourself from that bondage. And allow people to give to you, dear Libra, by the end of the month. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, honey. You've got a career change on the horizon. It's time. Yes, honey. I see someone at a petting zoo, it looks like. But, honey, this looks like your farm. This looks like your establishment. And it's so unlike you. It's like... You're sex in the city, one of those girls, and then you just go on ahead and open up your own um, petting farm, like a petting zoo for kids. And it's just so beautiful because secretly what you haven't told everybody is your love for animals. 
And that didn't quite fit in the life that you've been living because it didn't quite fit the circle of friends that you have. Didn't quite fit your studio apartment in New York City. But now you're starting to see that, you know what? I'm releasing that side of who I was. I don't have to do that anymore. Some of, oh, I see someone working on cars. You've always loved the really fancy cars. Um, looks like a Ferrari or a Porsche. And you're that man, you know, that really loves good things, high quality things. And you always take good care of yourself. But now, you know how spiritually gifted you are. And you know you are the light that shines. And you're always there for everybody else. And you've danced around with the idea of, can I go into business for myself in using my spiritual gifts? Heavenly angels, please allow me to, no, you do it. Please, thank you so much for getting that clear for whomever this message is for. Thank you so much. And thank you for correcting me. You are the light that shines. And remember, the time is now. And yes, you do have the freedom to do it your way. And you can still paint that picture. But now it's not according to society's rules or your group of friends. And you can go back and learn it. You know, learn what you really want to. Educate yourself. Take that course, take the training, get involved in a business uh, program that has the right training that you feel good about. That's not going to say, okay, here, now go on and do it, you know, and, and have something that has a proven system. Get invested in something like that because you, we know why you're doing it. Now you've got confirmation of why you're doing it. you got family to take care of and spirit has been telling you, I got you. Now I need you to believe that you're covered, you're protected. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But it's time for you to release it. And you know, when Spirit says you're not alone, that they're here for you, they are massaging your, your root chakra, your foundation, your vitality, your energy. Thank you so much. And what does Spirit tell you? Spirit is expanding your dreams. Expanding what you thought, you thought you, you knew to, to ask for. What you thought you deserved is what I'm hearing. Now, you're going to be expressing a whole new energy because what you thought was a lie what you know is the truth let me repeat that what you thought was a lie what you know is the truth and what you know now is that you have the freedom to express your creativity instinctively because you're going to release the way you thought you had to do your career life the way you thought you had to invest the way you thought you had to earn an income. And spirit is expanding your serenity, your loyalty, your faith, your spirituality, your creativity and your expression, and your truth and your communication in this throat chakra, your fifth chakra. Because the resulting experiences in your life, dear Libra, are linked to how you communicate with the world around you. And now Spirit is saying, all right, all right, I got you and I need you to hear this because what you've been saying to Spirit is that you'll see it when you believe it. Okay, you'll see it. When you believed it, you'll see it when you believe it. But you have been expressing it as, I'll believe it when I see it. 
But what your soul is crying out to spirit is this. You'll see it when you believe it. Exercise your faith. The legend here is Sky God was seeking wise counsel to choose the color of the sky. He wanted the beings of earth to feel serene when they looked at his work. Other great spirits reminded him to trust his intuition. He will know the right color when he sees it. Sky God trusts and sees the color clearly. Thus, the sky becomes sky blue. Your inspiration, dear Libra, is seeking good advice is vital when you are putting, pushing into new territory. Okay, Seeking advice. Stay away from anyone who is critical of your dreams. This indicates possibly changing your friends. Now, you just go on ahead and rewind. And whatever spirit showed you about your friends earlier, because honey, that was deep. That was whatever I channeled about your friends. What I saw was deep. Okay. So personal inquiry to meditate on. How can I create powerful alliances? Are new people entering my life? Key ideas, wise counsel, fruitful collaboration. What do we say about networking? Network marketing, spiritual support, your new tribe, state of uncertainty, being guided spiritually. Key words to meditate on and to create your new affirmations on. Counseling, connections, and progress. Thank you so very much, Divine Source. We are so grateful for our dear Libras. Thank you so much. Libra, you got this, honey. Just remember that. You've got this. You're going to release based on your intuition, your instincts. You are going to connect with that unconditional loving energy in your career life, transform. And it's okay for you to be vulnerable and know that you are not alone. Spirit is right there with you, okay? Thank you so much. Divine Source, thank you, thank you, thank you for our dear Libras. Libra, I feel like when you walk into October, you got to let go of the, the friends that are frenemies. You've got to put them in their place by separating yourself, distancing yourself, being okay with that. And uh, stop trying to force the relationship that isn't really there. And when you get that feeling that says, oh, why did they just say that? Are they really in my corner? Ask yourself this. All right? Ask yourself this would they hide me I want you to think about that would they hide me think about the enslavement process that black America has become legacies from would they hide me think about the holocaust Would they hide you? And that will give you the answer of what you must do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So in your career, you're awakening. You're awakening. And let's just continue. Woo! Thank you so much. You're awakening. You sure are. You started that movement, and you get to start fresh around the 16th, and you get to open up to the forgiveness and to the apologies that you're going to be receiving by the end of the month. And honey, your legacy is strong. Don't you ever forget that. You're creating legacy income, generational wealth. Oh, yes, and you know that you own it. You, you, you've got the power in you, but you've just got to get out of your own brain and you've got to walk away from the toxic connections. Oh, yeah, because they are speaking some 
serious negativity in your ear. And it's okay to walk away. I see that that's your hope is that, you know, won't be too much love lost. And you're right. All right. And, and it's okay to change careers. It's okay to go into something that you truly do love. And you're walking away. That's great. I'm proud of you. We're just going to go ahead and get your animal spirit guys up here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I can't wait for you to view your love focus because I am seeing the dove. And I am seeing the dolphin again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. I heard that. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Awesome. So, dear Libra, beautiful month for career for you. All right. Don't be afraid to go back over your journal. If you're not journaling, journal. Write down everything. Do automatic writing. We will have a video out very soon on that if it's not out already. Listen to spirit. Tell you which projects need to come in together and link them up. Network. That is a great thing for you right now. Network marketing is the number one industry. Okay. Health and wellness is the second. Get off the fence. Decide and then move forward. And I really feel like you've already made that choice as you walk into October. And let me tell you something. The decision that you've made is brilliant. It has legacy income. It's going to create generational wealth for you. It's healthy for you and your family. Your legacy is solid with this business opportunity with this next step that you are going into with this job with the career change what you have to do is get out of your own way get out of your mind and, and avoid letting other people tell you that you're making wrong decisions you are not you have to jump back into the driver's seat of your life and you're going to do that because you own it you are not in the business of living uh, for anybody else and you and your finances are picking straight up and I love that because now not only are you not fearing taking that next step you are happily taking that next step Libra it's beautiful I want you to be sure that you're avoiding the naysayers and the doubters because you are a true empath and absorbing their energy is going to be a no-no, all right? Um, hoping that it's going to be okay, that you go into this new career path. Absolutely, you're going to love it. And Spirit is blessing you. Spirit is expanding what you're focusing on. So be sure that you're focusing on positive outcomes all the time, okay? Step away from anybody that is heavy blood-sucking, draining energy, okay? Step away from all of them, all right? Um, there's the dove. The dove just came out. Just, I see one. There's probably a couple because they usually come in pairs. There's always, there's just one though. So you, you brought the dove. And so definitely watch out for the love focus. I'm just trying to peek through my window to see if there's more out there. We've had up to about 16 doves on the lawn. So that's a blessing. So I want you to know that. That's good for you. That's good. That's And we'll talk about more about the dove and uh, your love focus. But for your career focus, honey, that's legacy. That is family money. That is, uh, you, you're supported. That means that you are going after integrity. And you're doing what's right, what feels right, what's what's safe, but what requires some work. But you've got what you need, okay? You've got the magician here, and you know that you are in control of manifesting that which you so desire. So know now that you are not in that conflict. You are not in the middle 
of that conflict between other people because now you're stepping in and you're leaving October knowing that you're going to allow spirit to do what? Help you get out of the picture. Now, you also have the brown bear spirit. You've got nine, which is also your hermit energy here, which is helping you roll away and into your space and your time. Just keep going. Don't stop. Okay? You are the humanitarian here, but you're also the advocate. Okay? You've got to figure out exactly who you're an advocate for. Okay? But take time out for yourself. It's never easy when you realize that part of self that you've got to let go of. And how that's connected to other people that you must release. But spirit is on your side. So there's a time to act and a time to focus your attention on patient strategizing. And this energy signals that you are best served, dear Libra, by foregoing hard work towards your goals at this very moment. And instead, just taking time out to meditate. Take time out for you to strategize. For you to get yourself together. Take a nap. Go for a walk. Just refresh your mind, body, and soul so that you can co-create your dreams the way that spirit has intended for you for quite some time. Come to know the lay of the land as you contemplate and imagine what you might do in this vast space of possibility. It's right there before you. Your 2021 is of expansion. Okay. Remember, when you become so frazzled that you can't decide how to move forward, take time out. Honor your time with Source. Listen to the silence. Rest. Meditate. And let the brown bear spirit remind you that sometimes the best and most effective action is non-action. You don't have to step in between conflict to try to make it go away. You just have to step away and step back in to the connection with the divine. Well, dear Libra, let's see what your affirmations are, honey. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you so much for our dear Libras. Thank you so much. You've got a journey. And if I can help you, if I can be of service to you, please let me know. I am so happy to help you, honey. You just let me know if I can give you a reading. Thank you so much. If you are open to coaching with me, we do have a few spaces left in our coaching scholarship program. Woo! There we go. Let's see what spirit has for you, my love. I have the attitude of gratitude for my good health and my beautiful body, if that ain't the truth. All right. I have an attitude of gratitude for my health and my beautiful body. So you know what industry you're going into. If you haven't made that choice, that's pretty clear right now. And if there's anything that I can do for you, please let me know. Um, we're going to be sisters or sisters and brothers. And uh, we're going to be siblings <laughs> in that. I am in uh, health and wellness. You know, that's my Master of Science is Lifestyle Medicine. And um, I have become just a lover of network marketing. And so I couldn't... I, always always encourage you to do your homework all right dear libra Mwah. i'll see you soon